So I'm here representing Facebook at the uh, GSR. I think it's the first time that we've been involved in this meeting. And it really represents the fact that as internet companies like ours grow, uh, understanding the traditional telecoms world and being able to work with players in the traditional telecoms market becomes an increasingly part of your business. We want to deliver our service to people everywhere in the world uh, as efficiently and as swiftly as possible. And of course, telecoms operators are our partners in that and telecoms regulators are critical to the extension of broadband and people being able to access our service. So I think there is a, a shift in the relationship between operators and regulators and uh, internet players. We, we have been traditionally called the over-the-top uh, services in a way which I think is, is not always entirely complimentary. Um, but, you know, we, we are providing valuable services that mean that people want to take up broadband. They want to take up a broadband service to access something like Facebook. They don't want to do it for an abstract concept of the internet. They want to do it because there are compelling applications. Uh, we think we're one of those compelling applications and we've had some great conversations with other people who, are, who realize they're struggling with exactly the same challenge. The challenge being you know, how do we get to the next uh, 20, 30, 40 percent of people who should be coming onto the internet in a particular country and we think we're part of the solution, the telecoms operators are part of the solution and regulators in many cases are the entity that's correctly driving uh, the search for those solutions. When we think about privacy, we, we actually think we need to break it out into separate elements because we often bundle up a whole range of issues uh, that are really quite distinct. The first is, is really about social habits around being public or private people. Um, you know, people are behaving in different ways because the internet exists where they are showing an increasing willingness to share aspects of their life in public. And that's as we see it, a very personal decision and clearly social media is at the heart of that debate. It's something very relevant for us but we, we see those as not decisions primarily for regulators but between individuals, between parents and their children within uh, uh, social groups defining how public or private they should be. The second part of privacy is if I have a communication that is intended to be private, private correspondence, how, how secure is that? In other words, can other people, whether that's government entities or anyone else, get to that communication? And that's largely a question for governmental regulation. I mean, governments everywhere define the limits for their interference with, with private communications and uh, governments are now debating extensively what those limits should be and uh, really that's an issue that impacts all operators, whether they're telecoms operators or internet services. And I think the third part is, is, is more traditional data protection. So that's the regulation of how everybody uses personal data. And that's an issue not just for internet services or telecommunication services, but for every company and every organization that uses personal data. And there, there's a whole separate regulatory framework uh, that companies like Facebook have to deal with, but so do telecoms operators when they, for example, are dealing with their customer data. We see the internet in general and our service in particular as being huge drivers for growth, economic growth and job opportunities at a time when we, we sorely need that. We carried out a study in 2011 actually with Deloitte where we looked at the impact of Facebook on the European economy and we calculated that we'd added over 15 billion euros of value to the economy uh, and there are activities going on that sustained over 230,000 jobs in Europe by virtue of the fact that our platform exists and people are building applications on top of it, they're using it to increase their trade, their business, uh, or that telecoms operators are able to sell through new devices and services on the back of the existence of ours. Um, so we think we can add that kind of value everywhere. Uh, and it's just you know, incredible that somebody now can connect in, in a country, you know, somebody can be in Nigeria, uh, they can connect into a global network, and they can have potentially a billion customers on our platform and hundreds of millions on other platforms that they can connect with immediately and start doing business with immediately. Our approach is to, to try and address common objectives. I mean, at the heart of it, there are people. I mean, we are providing a service to people. Telecoms operators are providing connectivity to people. And regulators' responsibility is to look after the interests of those people as individuals. In, in uh, Ofcom's framing, the UK regulators' framing, they talked about as citizen consumers, which I think is a, a lovely phrasing for how we should think of people. They are both consumers of services and citizens with all those associated interests. And we think the services like ours absolutely have a role to work with the operators and with the regulators to make sure that the citizen consumer 
gets the maximum possible benefit from this amazing technology that we've built. One thing that we've been working on at Facebook is a, a good example, I think, of how telecoms operators and internet services can work together. And that's something called Facebook Zero, where the operator gives its customers free access to Facebook data for a period of time. Uh, and in return, they're able to co-market their service. They're able to say, you know, buy my handset or buy this plan uh, to access the Facebook service. What we see is great take up of that, not surprisingly, but we also see great take up of paid for data plans at the end of that free taster period. So the operators benefit from it, we benefit from it, we get new subscribers, um, but also society generally benefits because we've taken somebody who was previously not on a mobile data plan and brought them onto a mobile data plan so all the other government services like health and education can be delivered through the same channel. Uh, we think those kind of arrangements where everybody, internet services and telecoms operators, uh, is able to, are able to work together to increase the total market, increase the total uh, amount of internet access, are the future, rather than perhaps some of you know, what we've seen in the past, which is more arguing about how you divide the cake up between us. Uh, let's make the cake bigger together.